Hello friends, my name is Dr. Ali Singhal and today I am going to demonstrate our technique of echomalsification in patients having small pupil without using any rings and hook. So this patient uh, is having a small pupil, he is diabetic and on prostate medicines. After staining enteric capsule, I am putting a dispersive viscoelastic into the anterior chamber and then uh, doing capsule excess by a band 26 kg needle. My target capsule excess size in these patients is around 5, 5.25 mm and after achieving the desired size I am just aggressing the excessive viscoelastic from the anterior chamber before my hydro procedure. As hydro uh, procedures in these patients are like uh, very tricky because you cannot see we cannot see fluid wave and uh, this is a dense nucleus so I'm doing a little bit of hydro procedure and now uh, it's time for phaco emulsification so I'm bearing the api nucleus anterior api nucleus I'm engaging my phaco tip into the nucleus I'm burying my phaco tip into the nucleus and at the same time I'm moving my chopper to the periphery and cracking the nucleus so after getting initial crack again I am going for another crack and uh, separating a small pie of the nucleus. And the idea behind to create a space so that I, uh, I can rotate nucleus easily and decreasing the bulk of the nucleus. So. What I am trying to follow in these patients is doing all the maneuvers in central safe zone of 5 mm without going to the periphery and as you can see this is like unedited video of echomilsification and uh, if done in right direction then we can do echomilsification in these patients without even touching the iris without trapping the iris into phaco probe so again I am uh, mobilizing the hemi nucleus other half of the nucleus and uh, chopping into the smaller fragments and emulsify emulsifying them at the same time these irises are having proficiency towards the main port and side port so any pressure over the posterior lip can lead to iris sphincter damage. So we have to be very gentle so that we don't do any tissue damage in these patients. So this is the end of the fake emulsification and uh, without touching iris I have just finished it and a uh, uh, little bit of cortical matter is there. So while doing irrigation and aspiration, I am using my blunt tip chopper as a guide. I am engaging people margin into the chopper and then uh, bringing uh, IA tip, just blow it and engaging capsule and pulling it towards the center and then aspirating it. So this is my technique of hydro implantation where I am using 26 gauge needle and implanting a hydrophobic JNJ INS lens in this patient and with very minimal viscoelastic so little bit of irrigation and aspiration and just tapping the uh, aisle into the bag and as you can see that this is almost the end of the procedure and people is round circular without having any notches uh, so I have not used any capsular hooks or rings in this patient and see the circular round people thank you